Uh, hello, Travis. Uh, hello, Travis. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, uh, good evening to you all, and uh, happy uh, trading to you all. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, uh, uh, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, Traders. Uh, and our website is www.stochastic-mavdi.com. Uh, uh, the time in London is uh, 16 minutes past 10 a.m. In New York is uh, uh, 17 minutes past, uh, um, now it's now 17 minutes past 5 a.m. Okay, so good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening to you all. Okay. Uh, what's up, the man? What's up, the man? Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday we uh, we recorded a video. We are about to post that video now on YouTube. We recorded a video that we titled Live uh, Elliott Wave uh, Theory, okay, on a 15 minute chart of the EURUSD. And uh, if you have not watched that video, Live uh, Elliott Wave Theory, you will notice that on our channel recently we continue to post. Uh, a lot of video regarding the alien wave theory because uh, we uh, there are some TSTW24 traders that uh, uh, working on the ability to master the alien wave theory and uh, we, we think that is very important uh, the alien wave theory is uh, a stable data in the market a stable data is something that remains intact in the market you can say this is a, a truth in the market something that is true in the market uh, because the market looks very chaotic, but there are things that remain intact, what I call, okay, the stable datums in the market, okay? So, in your way theory, it's a stable data in the market. So, we count five uh, waves yesterday on a 15-minute chart. If you watch that video, like in your wave theory, first in your wave, second in your wave, third in your wave, fourth in your wave, and the fifth in your wave ended right here. At the end of the fifth earlier wave, the market is considered as overbought, not yet accepted as overbought. You wait for the market to be accepted as overbought after this uptrend and wait for a clear cut signal to sell before you sell. And yesterday we received a signal to sell here. Uh, if I remember exactly the level, I think it's a 14494. As so I told you before, choose one financial instrument, trade it day in day out study the fundamental pay attention to google finance you can download the google finance application on your smartphone if you are using android there is also google finance for uh, ipad and also the financial time application these are two applications as a trader please try to have them on your uh, mobile phone or on your tablet or on your, comp uh, on your computer. You may assess the news and the fundamental. This will allow you slowly but gradually to build your desire to get into the game of uh, fundamental trading. Uh, my view is that you must be able to combine the fundamentals and okay, the technical. This talking about uh, uh, the trading triangle, the market first, the sector, the individual financial instrument, the heart of the trading triangle, the news, the fundamentals, okay, and the leaders, very important, okay. This is about taking your trading to the next level, being serious, applying the 5% money management rules, and using stop loss in all trades. This is very important, slowly. If you are new trader, okay, because new traders go to different stages. And, and it's normal, okay, it's normal. The frustration and the, the ups and downs is normal for new traders, okay? But if you start locating quickly your weaknesses and your mistakes, you will be able to progress fast. This is what I noticed myself. You can perfectly disagree with me, but this is what I've noticed. That when a trader starts understanding that this is my weakness, this is where I'm, I'm letting myself down, and he, st he start getting away from that bad habit, he or she start enjoying their trade. Very important, okay? So we can't find the earlier web, and we, we were expecting the ABC correcting move, which we had uh, now, okay? So the market did not forget what has happened yesterday, so <laughs> they come back this morning, okay? <laughs> they continue to do what they were doing yesterday. <laughs> All right, so... Do not forget what has happened the day before, even the week before. 
All right. So we have um, the price that went down, the 61.8%, the 50% is where I placed my red horizontal line. If you like, I can draw a line there, that's the 50%, the bonus interest my level of uh, the previous uptrend that we count the five wave in. And the 61.8%, so according to the theory, the theory is different from the reality of the market. The supply came down in the zone of 50% and the 61.8%. Some traders start buying here. But as you can see, the price does what the price does. Okay? So that's why it's so important to follow the price. Even though the price comes down very fast, as I told you, if the bearish pressure is quite strong, uh, the price uh, will... Uh, I'm just waiting to take a bit of profit here because uh, the euro is approaching uh, one of my target zone. Um, <coughs> My apologies for that. Um, now, in the zone of uh, 143, uh, C3 is now 14383, and now it's coming down very fast. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, hold on, please, just to take uh, some of my uh, profit, greedy profit here. Moment, please. All right, traders. Okay, so the price uh, continue the movement uh, to the downside here, uh, displaying uh, ABC corrective move, A corrective move from here down to this level here the b corrective move from here to this level here if you look carefully this uh, b corrective move this b corrective move has been divided into a b c corrective move a b c okay and then we have the c corrective move from here down to this level here that the c corrective move can also be divided into five small waves talking about the complex area wave first wave, second, no, in fact, second wave, because it, it was it went up, went down, went horizontal. So, first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, and fifth wave, right here. Traders took profit here. Why? Because this was the A, B, C corrective boom. But at this point in time, you may think that, this is what we are talking about, trading live, talking about placing a trade when the market is moving. We are not talking about historical data. At this point in time, we took profit here yesterday because the price just went up, boom, 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 down, reaching a 61% a Fibonacci retracement level, and also there is a, a support level here. We took profit. Straight away, some traders may think that we will have a Another trend that we begin here because it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. The theory. But the reality of the market is different. So we thought that it's the ABC corrective move because, as I explained it to you also, I took my profit. You see, some traders also are taking their profit here. So, like I explained to you, if after the uptrend, I need to speak very slowly, if you are a new trader, if you are an experienced trader, do not think that I'm trying to waste your time. I'm doing this for those who are new traders, especially for those who are new traders. Okay, that's why I'm speaking very slowly now. We can fire away to the upside. If we receive a signal to sell, we sell. But when we sell, we pay attention to the support level. That's the best way to control the risk and to know your exit strategy, nothing else. The support and resistance level are the tool for exit a strategy, nothing else. You can set your targets here, but you will constantly watch the support level. Very important. Because you do not know whether the price will hit your target or not. But when the price comes to a support level, acknowledge it, very important. So when we are expecting the ABC corrective move after five waves. If the bearish momentum is strong after the five waves, the ABC corrective move will be just will, will be a straight line. Now let me say this again: the ABC corrective move should be a three distinctive move. So A, B, C. The, here you can see now that A is clearly separate from B, clearly separate from C. But sometimes, it's not like this. If the bearish momentum is strong, instead of having A, B, C, corrective move, the price will just drop, boom, 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 down. So you don't see the distinctive B, distinctive uh, C, distinctive uh, A. It just goes boom, 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 down. 
So when we were here yesterday on this 50 minute chart for the Euro USD, price just went down, boom, 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 boom. That's the way myself I prefer to have it because I don't want to be too long in the trend. It went boom, 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 hit the 61.8%. I'm out. Okay? We get paid. That's the most important thing. We just get paid again here. That's the most important thing. So price went up, down, up, down. This is the Asia session. We do not trade the Asia session. But in fact, during the night time, the price continued the movement. So we this morning talking about looking back now, what has happened? But when we were here, here, when we were here during the trading time, live trading, we thought that was it. But again, you see. Now we see that in fact this is the A session, and this is the B session, and this is the C session. And this uh, C session has been divided into five small waves, but the A session was not divided into five way, five small waves. But the B session has been divided into ABC corrective move. Now, talking about the theory, the first area wave, the third area wave, and the fifth area wave can be divided into five uh, small waves. The second wave and the fourth in the wave can be divided into ABC corrective move. The A corrective move and the C corrective move can be divided into five small waves. The B corrective move can be divided into ABC corrective move. That's what we have here. This B corrective move from here to here, that's the B corrective move. It has been divided into ABC, A, B, C. But in fact, this is the B corrective move, talking about this uh, movement from here up to this level here. And from here down to this level here, that's the C corrective move. And in this case, the C corrective move has been divided into five small waves. First wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave. Ended here. Traders decided to take it, thinking that there will be a new trend. But one thing I want to leave you with, anytime you are trading, use the stable data in the market this is what i would say all the time you will notice that in all of my our video we talk about this all the time especially if you watch our video very often i hope you are putting into practice this is the most important thing we are talking about higher time frame command lower time frame okay very often okay and last time we revealed to you again another stable data that the market is global it's global very important okay so on this monthly chart, what do we have for the Euro USD? Okay. We have what I call, okay, a Gatley pattern. Price went down, 0 to 8. Retracement in the zone of 61.8. Okay. Pull back in relation to A to B. A to B. Pull back here. Either 38% or 88%. Fibonacci retracement level. In this case, it went down to the 50% zone, breaking below uh, the 38.2. We give it 38.2, exaggeration this zone. Price went back up here, above the 78.2% uh, Fibonacci investment level. The target zone is 78.2, talking about okay, the formation, the formation of a Gatley pattern. This is why it traded mark our video down last time, a formation of a Gatley pattern, okay? The formation is being formed. We don't know what's going to be ended with, but we are just following the price, acknowledging every criteria of a Gatley or butterfly or crab pattern progressing, keeping our eyes on the price, accepting what the price is giving us, okay? Now, so, price went above the 78.2, the 78.2 in fact is at a one for uh, 78.2 like that uh, is uh, according to my own calculation in the zone of 14432 okay 14432 somewhere here uh, yeah somewhere here where I place my red horizontal line price went above it you can see it went above it even when above the 88 uh, percent Fibonacci adjustment level the 88 point percent Fibonacci adjustment level is at a 14751 14751 uh, Okay. Yeah, you see where is my right horizontal? That's one, one four seven five one, which is the eighty-eight percent Fibonacci investment level. So when all this was going, one trader were fighting. Some say is uh, 
the bearish uh, Gatley pattern. Some say this is uh, should be a bearish uh, a butterfly pattern. You can understand. You can understand what they are going through. They are analyzing the market, trying to uh, predict the price and do all sorts of things. Aggressive traders. But in my view, this is a bearish Gatley pattern. As you can see, the price closed back down, and you can see we are near uh, the this line. You see this candle. This candle they respected the zone of. Uh, um 78.2 percent so we are below that 78.2 percent so we are talking about it even last weekend we posted a video when we were talking about fractal pattern and then we show you this uh the drawing on this chart that this uh, trend line was declining but look what's happened this week the price again went above that uh, declining a trend line it went above it this week okay if i show you on the weekly chart this is what we are talking about pay attention to the price it went above it but does it mean that we are out of the wood here? We will see when above it. And also on the daily chart, you'll be wondering, what's all this about? A descending triangle, you see? It went above it, only to retest this zone. A top here, a top here, a top here. We are again there. As I told you, the Euro-USD currency pair is a very highly currency pair. It's a highly manipulated currency pair at the moment. I'm talking about at the moment. There is a reason for it, and uh, we cannot fight those reasons, but we can take advantage of those reasons, okay? So, going back again to my uh, monthly chart, so we see what is happening on the monthly chart. We are on the overbought zone. I'm giving priority to selling. Does not mean that I cannot buy. Yes, I did buy yesterday. When the market did open on 50 minutes, chart, you see here, okay? It displayed five way, one, two, three. Four, five. We, we bought it, but this is about talking about day trading, talking about swing trading. I will not buy. We have to come out of uh, the overbought zone before I will consider, okay, uh, a swing trading to the upside, okay. So priority to selling. If you receive a clear cut signal to sell in overbought zone, you will take it. When you receive a clear cut buy signal in over so zone, you will take it. Our strategy, as you can see, for the USD yen, anytime we receive a valid signal to buy the USD yen, we buy. But we are aware of the fundamental. We must take our profit constantly because the fundamental are not sound. Talking about the USD yen, so take profit fast before they take it away from you, because the fundamental did not support the technical concerning the USD yen currency pair. For the Euro USD, the fundamental are not too bad, but they are not sound. They are not too bad, but they are not sound. We are on the overbought zone. We will give priority to selling until we come out of the overbought zone and the fundamental start improving. But for day trading, nothing is stopping us to buy and sell, taking our profits quickly before it is too late. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'll pause this video and then we come back to it and see what's happening here. Okay, so pausing the video. Thank you. All right, traders, uh, traders, uh, not much is happening now. Uh, the time in London now is uh, 10 uh, 49 uh, a.m. Okay, that's uh, uh, 5 49 uh, Eastern Time. Okay, uh, this is what I call the gap period because uh, London will open at uh, 8 a.m. Eastern, uh, 8 a.m. London time, which is uh, 3 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, the best way to, if you are day trading, is to 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 focus on the first two hours. Okay, at least uh, two and a half hours. So from uh, 8 to 10:30 a.m. London time or from 3 a.m. Eastern Time up to uh, 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time, you can perfectly trade and then come out of the market, okay? Come out, okay? If you are day trading, it's your decision, perfectly, okay? Your decision, okay? I do not force this one on traders, okay? So, uh, it's your decision. If you are managing it very well, that's perfectly okay. Now, from uh, 10, uh, 30 a.m. London Time, which is 5.30, okay? AM Eastern Time, okay, up to the time New York is open, okay, up to the time New York is open at 9.30 AM Eastern Time, 
uh, 2.30 p.m. London time. That's what we call the gap period. Okay, so we are now in a gap period because uh, during this time, people are preparing for the news to be released around 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, which is 1.30 p.m. London time. So traders, uh, uh, the play, uh, I see that as a ping pong period, the market will go up and down, up and down. And if you are not careful, what usually, what I have noticed myself, what I have done in the past, is that very often I'll come in with my uh, stochastic MACD, okay, system that I was using like a MAC person before in the past, and I will make some money during the, the first two hours when London opens. And then what usually takes place is that I will give up, I will give back everything by the time New York is open. And then I will make money again during when New York is open, the first two hours. And then I will give back everything, okay, uh, during the Asia session. So it's a pattern that has been uh, going on for some time. And uh, you will notice that the professional, what they are doing, as soon as the market opens, they are in the market. First two hours, they are enjoying themselves. And then uh, two and a half hours, they go away. And then they come back again for another market to open. Two and a half hours again, the day trend, and then they go away. That's why it goes. Okay, so they are not uh, because there are portfolio adjustment taking place in the market. Okay, and also looking ahead, the news that about to be released, and uh, paying attention also to the fundamental. Okay, and being very careful because when you make money, you want to bank it and keep it. Okay, so take it serious that way. That uh, every profit that you made, make sure you bank it, okay, do not give it back, okay, so there's no more to say anymore, I will do another video, and uh, we'll continue this uh, series of uh, Fibonacci pattern, alien wave theory, so that uh, together we may learn something from that, okay, so thank you for watching, and uh, we will speak to you uh, very soon, we are the TSTW uh, 24 traders.